My name is Brian Joyner. I'm, I'm a coastal engineer with the engineering firm Moffat & Nickel. We've been the town's coastal engineering consultants for three years now. And I'm here today in Knight's Head to talk to the town board and town staff about the health of the beach based on surveys and analysis that we've done and about the recent beach nourishment project that was completed in July and August this past summer. Uh, and then to talk a little bit with them about an ongoing beach nourishment master plan that will help the town plan for the next several decades of beach nourishment to keep the beach healthy as you see it today. Today we're looking at a beach that has just been restored. The sand has been placed on the beach to restore it back to conditions before Hurricane Dorian back in 2019. So federal government, the state government, and the town partnered to put that sand on the beach. Uh, it was completed, it was very successful. The sand color looks very like the sand that was there before it was dredged from offshore and placed on the beach. The dredging that you may have seen uh, went very quickly and very smoothly this summer. The, the crews are very professional. We've looked at uh, the sand samples. The sand is good quality. And there's also a lot of that sand offshore that we can access for future projects. I think overall, the beach itself, the way it's performed over the last few years and then the nourishment this summer puts the beach in a really good position going into winter storm season um, and, then, and then setting up for, for next summer's tourist season. Anytime we build a nourishment project, we place the sand uh, in sort of a flat profile across the top of the beach and then we slope it down into the waves. But we know the beach is not a regular square angled shaped thing. It's sand, it's fluid, it moves with the waves. And, and immediately after placement, the waves are going to start working on the sand. It will start to move. It will move. Some of the sand you see on the visible beach will move into the near shore, out into the, the waiting area or the bar or out past the bar where the surf break is. That's normal and that's expected. You know, we don't, we don't ask the contractor to push sand way offshore in the profile. We let them put it near shore and then it migrates the way it's supposed to. So any, any short-term profile changes are expected. And then we also see the beach responding to waves over time. It will continue to erode as it always does. And, and the beach nourishment is intended to sort of give you some buffer against that erosion for the next several years. And then there's a planned renourishment in the future to, to make up for that. It's, it's the process of managing a healthy beach that is prone to erosion, but can be managed over time through nourishment. The very near future is that there's not really an active project to place more sand anytime soon, barring a hurricane or a major storm that gets restoration funding. We will see, we are planning as part of the summer's project to place some additional sand fencing and some additional dune planting to help capture some of that sand that blows from the back of the beach toward the dunes. So that is still in the works. That should take place over the next couple of months. Uh, and then after that, there shouldn't really be much activity, engineering activity on the beach until it's needed again to restore nourishment loss. The nourishment this past summer in July and August and we placed sand from approximately Governor Street and McCall Court. That was targeted because that area was more, uh, more eroded by Hurricane Dorian. North of that, it didn't really sustain a lot of damage, uh, quantifiable damage in Hurricane Dorian. Uh, you will see in the southern parts of the town, more sand was placed per linear foot on the beach because that area sustained heavier damages in Dorian and needed more sand to restore it back. Overall, the project was a success. The design went smoothly, the permitting went smoothly. We found there's a lot of sand in the bar area for future use. The nourishment itself, the dredging and the placement went well. The sand is a color that came out is very similar to the, the sand on the beach now. And, and overall, it was just a very smooth, successful project. Um, all the parties agreed well, it seems. And we, we expect the beach to be in a really good position going into the winter.